Welcome, role players. My name is Mario, and let's teach you the basics of Open Legends offensive combat roles. Combat in Open Legend is dynamic in its storytelling, but the mechanics of combat are easy to apply and understand. Let's concentrate on the core part of your turn, your major action. There are two types of offensive attacks that you can do as a major action, damaging attacks and bane attacks. A damaging attack's goal is to reduce the hit points of your enemy directly. A bane attack's goal is to hinder the opponent rather than reduce their hit points. First, let's talk about damaging attacks. For simplicity's sake, we're going to focus on physical attacks such as swinging a sword. Physical attacks intended to damage your opponent are against their guard defense. The attack is made with the appropriate attribute, such as agility with a dagger, energy with a fire blast, or might when swinging a tree. For all of the following examples, we're going to assume these attribute scores. You have an agility score of 5 and a logic score of 3, while your enemy has a guard defense score of 15. Let's make a damaging attack with a dagger using our agility score of 5. A score of 5 means your attribute dice are 2d6, so let's roll a d20 plus 2d6. One of the d6 explodes, giving us a total of 23. This score needs to meet or exceed the opponent's guard of 15, so it's a success. The damage is calculated by subtracting the defense score from the roll total. 23 minus 15 equals 8 damage. Let's roll again. This time we only rolled a 13, less than the guard defense of 15. While this could just be counted as a miss, the rules of Open Legend have a core mechanic that encourages success with a twist. You can choose, instead of missing, that both the player and the GM select one of three different options to inflict on the other. Deal 3 damage, inflict a bane with a power level less than 3, or move 10 feet without opportunity attacks. The goal is to never waste a roll and keep the action moving toward an epic conclusion. To go back to our attack example, you choose to knock down the enemy, but as they fall they grab your shirt and bring you down as well. You both are now affected by the knockdown bane. There is one more small rule. The minimum damage you can do is always 3. Therefore, rolling a 16 against a defense score of 15 would only be one above their defense, so the damage is increased to the minimum, 3 damage. You can also have an exceptional success with your damaging attack. Here we've rolled a 26, which is 11 points over the guard defense of 15. Not only does it do 11 points of damage, but because the roll exceeded the defense score by 10 or more, you may apply a bane for free that shares the attacking attribute and is of equal or lesser power level than the attribute. You choose to cut the enemy above their eye, causing blood to drip down, applying the blinded bane at power level 5. Now imagine if there are two enemies in front of you. You could choose to target both of them in a single attack, called multi-targeting, which requires rolling disadvantage equal to the number of targets, disadvantage 2 in this case. Rolling your d20 and a total of 4d6, you remove the two highest d6 dice and are left with a total of 17. Against a guard defense of 15, this attack is a success, dealing 3 damage to both enemies. Making a bane attack requires rolling the appropriate attribute versus the defense specified in the bane description. Looking at the immobile bane, using your agility attribute would be versus the enemy's guard defense. If you were using energy, it would be against their toughness. You must meet or exceed their defense score, and in doing so, inflict the bane on your enemy. Rolling an 18 here is good enough against their guard defense of 15, and therefore you manage to use your quickness to strike a nerve, applying the immobilized bane. Finally, let's play out a full combat story using everything we've learned. You're facing off against the remains of a zombie horde, and you are the last person left standing. In your hands are a pistol and a dagger. Each zombie has a guard defense of 15 and only one hit point. You fire your pistol within its normal range toward a zombie. You barely make it, rolling a 15 and doing 3 points of damage, killing it. 
Your next turn, you use a few minor actions to affix the dagger in your hand to your pistol's bayonet holster and draw a second dagger from your belt. Since you now wield a melee weapon in each hand, you get advantage one when you stab at the zombie that has come right up to you. A 19 definitely does the trick, and the zombie goes down. Now that the closest threats are taken care of, it's finally time to end this. You drop both weapons and put your hands on a large plunger attached to a box and wires. You had set a dynamite trap in the doorway, and it's time to make it go boom. This is going to be a logic roll. Attribute score of 3, giving you a d20 and a d8. It's only a quarter stick of dynamite and thus a 5 foot area attack, so there is no disadvantage penalty. A 19. It explodes, taking the zombie standing in the doorway with it and giving you just enough time to escape. Thanks for watching. You can now roll attack dice in Open Legend.